going to talk to everyone today. All right, today we are uh, looking at one more character of God, which is the omniscient God, which is His nature. That God is all knowing. God knows everything about us. Alam mo, human nature for us to want to know everything. Uh, marami sa atin, uh, chismoso, chismosa, gusto natin makialam sa, sa business na iba. We mind other people's business. We love doing that, you know. When we have friends talking, then it's not that any time pa. Oh, ano ulit yun? Oh, huwag mo sasabihin to, ah, secret lang to, ah. Tayo-tayo lang, ah. Oh, huwag mo sasabihin. Punta ka sa kaibigan mo, bro. Oh, yung tayo-tayo lang to, ah. Huwag mo sasabihin na, tapos gano'n din ulit, ah. Hanggang kumalat na yung buong balita. Alright. But that's us. That's human nature. We love to know things. We love to know everything. Kung pwede lang, alam ko lahat. Because knowing everything means I possess the power. Sabi nga ni Ka Eric, you know, knowledge is power. Alright. And so, ganyan na talaga tayo. We just want to know everything. I remember, uh, sa, nung nag-aaral ako sa Lasal, pauwi ako, nag-FX ako nun. Dahil sila yung uh, Mercedes-Benz ko nun. Okay. So, nung uh, habang nag-e-effect sa kanon, may pumasok sa likod, may balde, so ang tao, ako po. So, kami naman, ano yung amoy? It's, yun, puno ko kami sa effect, so, ba't ang amoy na yan? So, ang tao. And so, yung driver, problema sa driver, medyo kaskasero, he drives really fast, no? So, minsan pag nag-drive siya, may tumitina ako na tubig na kawang din, no? <laughs> eh, hindi na mapigilan ng katabi ko, sabi ng katabi ko, please, ito ba yan? nagalit. Bakit bibili ka ba? Sa tahimik na lang kami. Pero uh, may stretch doon na medyo traffic. Tapos hindi kong hana. Mga 15 minutes na talaga. The smell was really bad. So, may seat me. Tapos look na and said, Miss, ano ba? Ano ba yan? And the, the alley said, Bakit bibili ka rin ba? Ay, mataan na yan. Eh nung medyo lumuwag na, nung malapit na sa Manila City Halls, SM City Manila, yung mga jeep-jeep na gumagal na, sa sobrang bilis nung FX, napabreak siya ng malakas. Tumilapon sa likod yung, yung mabahong, ano, lahat kami nagtingin, ano, parang, ah, grabe, grabe talaga. So, nung nakita namin, ah, grabe. But, ha? Yun lang. Gusto niyo malaman na yun? Bibili ka ba? Hindi <laughs> <Yun> lang nga. <laughs> ha? Ha? Ano? Hindi mo siya. Mas lumipad ng tree, ano? Lahat sila, eh ano? <laughs> Sabay-sabay sila ng tree niya, eh ano? <laughs> But uh, that's us. We want to know things. Yung iba sa inyo, ano kaya yun? Joke lang yun. Hindi totoo yun. It's not true. But as we look at the nature of God, look at the infinite nature of God, some of us, we wonder, paano ko ba ma-explain? How can I really explain this? God is so big, is so infinite, and my mind is so finite. I want you just to remember every time we would try to grasp who God is, to remember the pina. Okay, Lord, manilang yan. What do I mean, manilang yan? There was this guy by the name of George Washington Carver. Hindi yung presidente ng US. Si George Washington Carver was able to discover that peanuts, ang mani, meron pa lang 300 uses. Not just for food. It can be used for cosmetic, for gasoline, for, uh, for, uh, ano pa ba, uh, pangtanggal ng mga, ano sa, ano, or whatever that is, 300 uses, cosmetics, makes, makeups, and all. And, nagulat yung mga tao nung na-discover niya that there were 300 uses for peanuts. And it reminds me always when we talk about God, okay, God, manila talaga yan. In fact, tayo sa eyes ni God, manila. We're small, but there's a lot of things we can do if we know who our God is. And that's why we want to dwell into this and really look at the nature and the character of God. Right? And one of the passages in Scripture that could really try to grasp this om- omniscient God is in Psalms 139. If you have your Bibles, can you turn it there with me? And I will be reading the Scripture. But before we do, let's just pray. Father, we commit this time to you. Lord, we ask that you would speak to us through your word. I pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal to us who you are and who Christ is. And Lord, and what are the implications this has with our lives? Lord, that as we read your word, it would not just be head knowledge for us, but it would be something that we could apply in our lives, something that could make our hearts be transformed because of the truth that we will encounter. 
this afternoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Psalms 139, verse 1 to 4, uh, ang Psalms 139, sinulat ka ni David, and as he was writing this, ang ganda nung sinabi niya, verse 1 to 4, he says, O Lord, you have searched me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. Here is David writing a song about God and saying, You know, God, you search me, you know me so much. You know, kaupo pa lang ako, tatayo ako, matutulog ako, lalabas ako ng bahay. You already know even the words that are about to come out of my mouth, even before it comes out of my mouth, you already know the words that are coming out of my mouth. Alright? And so here was David writing about the nature and the ability of God to know everything. In verse 5, something happens here. Now, Matagal na ako, guys, ano, tagal ko na itong nabasa, ano, itong Psalms 139, almost every year. Every year, I go through Psalms 139. I've never seen this angle that I'm about to share to you. In verse 5, he says, You hem me in, behind and before, you have laid your hand upon me. Yung word pala na hem, in, in the Old Testament, it was used 36 times in the Old Testament, and all the times the word hem is used, it's used in hostile situations. In short, ang word na hem was a very negative emotion, a negative feeling. Here was David, na akala natin from verse 1 to 4, pinupuri si Lord, praising God because of his being omniscient, of him knowing everything. Yung pala in verse 5, we see his heart. He was saying, Lord, nakakasakal ka na eh. You're hemming me in before and, uh, and uh, behind and before. Parang kahit saan ako pumunta, ando ka, alam mo lahat. Have you ever wonder how it would feel like if there is someone who comes to you and tells what's in your mind? A total stranger just comes to you and tells everything about you, knows every deep, dark secrets that you have. No feeling no. Feeling mo parang na offend ka, di ba? Feeling mo na ano ka parang ano nangyari yun? Sa kubeta ka, biglang may nag-text. Nakagreen ka ngayon. <laughs> It's freaky at the same time, it's scary. It's something we don't like, all right? Where people know us, where people get every information about us, the good and the bad, and they know. He says, you hand me in behind and before, you, you have laid your hand upon me. David was saying, Lord, you're attacking me. In verse 6, it goes further, he says, such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Here was David. David was a king. He was a man of war. He loves to strategize. So he was using words like this. Like, Lord, you're, you're too wonderful. The knowledge is too wonderful for me. I can't even attain that. David looks at God, writes his song, and sees God as a threat. From verse 1 to verse 6, where he says, Lord, you're everywhere. It was like God was saying, you can run, David, but you can't hide. You can run as far away as fast as you can, but you can't hide from me. I know every detail of your life. David was overwhelmed with this, knowing that there is a God who knows everything, who knows his action tomorrow, who knows the past that he had lived. Once people get into the private details of our lives, they possess power over us. May mga tao may may mga na share kang secret. Alam mo, pwede ka mag-blackmail in time. Pero pinicturean ka ng isang picture na kapangit-pangit dahil nakita yung taba mo dito or something. Tapos, ipapost ko na sa Facebook kapag pinawin mo ako. Because <laughs> you're always parang may utang na loob ka na palagi. Reminds me of the story about this boy and his sister who, while they were playing, the boy accidentally killed the, uh, the chicken of his, uh, of his uh, lawn. And so, the boy buried the chicken and told the sister, Ate, don't tell Lolo, huh? it's his prized chicken. And so, every day, there are responsibilities in their They do household chores. On a Monday, it's the boy. On the Tuesday, it's the sister, then the brother, then the sister, the brother, then the sister. 
Oh, it was Tuesday. It was the sister's day to do the household chores. After eating, Lolo said, clean up your plates. The sister said, no, it's not my, it's not my role. It's, it's Tuesday. It's my brother's role. And the brother looks, it's Tuesday today. And the sister said, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. it. Happens Tuesday, Thursday, every time, every time. Na dapat yung sister yung gumagawa sa sabi na ng sister sa kapatid niya. And he was enslaved for almost two weeks doing the chores of the sister. And one time he said, For now, I'm going to tell Lolo. Went to Lolo and said, Lolo, I killed your chicken. Accidentally. Lolo said, I know. I saw it when that happened. No. But it was just liberating for him to, to just say it because it's hard for him. And this was the feeling that David had. God, you know everything about me. Means a parang, di ako makagalok, alam mo na. Parang, lulokoy ko si God. Ay, alam niya rin, lulokoy ko si God. Parang, ang hirap, Lord. Parang, wala man lang akong, ma- di man lang akong makakiller crossover sa'yo, Lord. Parang, lagi mong alam yung next move ko. What would really happen if someone knows you inside out? Every bad, ungodly thoughts he knows. How would you feel? How would you feel? Kausap lang tayo tapos habang kausap kita, nakikita ko lahat ng mga iniisip, sama ka lang ng mga iniisip sa akin. Pero tayo pastorok at matawa lang. How would it feel to feel violated? You feel na wala kang privacy. Kahit anong palit mo sa settings mo, alam niya. He knows. Question, why can David deal with the scrutiny of God? Bakit feeling niya from verse 1 to verse 6, Lord, parang kakasakan ako. You know why they feel that way? It's what you call sin. It's when you know you're wicked that you try to hide something and you don't want God to know. If you want something for God to know something, you always brag about the good things, right? Here is David saying, No, if you must admit, nakita mo yung isip ko kay Machipa noon na naniligo siya. No, ibig mo sabihin, alam mo nung no, nagpaano ako, nung no, nagpabilang ako ng mga men ko, sinabi ko, pang ano lang, uh, counting-counting lang yun pala, nakita mo yung yata ako nun. No? Lord, you know everything about me. Yo, kung inosente tayo, there's nothing to hide, right? Like Adam and Eve, when they were created, they were sinless. Genesis 2.25, it says, the man and the wife were both what? Naked. And they fell, no shame. 